Hey, Heidi Easley here. I'm showing you a part of the business, paint party business, that a lot of times people don't see the behind the scenes and the prep work that it takes to get a paint party business going. So I have a paint party here in a couple of hours and we have, we're doing this painting right here. So go ahead and say hi as you come on. I would love to, to say hi, give you a shout out. And um, usually I am not live on a Sunday, but I was doing something um, and I thought y'all may want to see it. So let me know in the comments if you want to see this, this part of the business. So this is the prep work. So I have actually a time lapse happening right here. Hey, Tammy. Hello, hello. And um, so for those of y'all that are, um, you know, doing this, you know, full-time, part-time, whatever, I wanted to share just, you know, real quick, a couple of things with you. So what I do is I have the time-lapse going and then I also, hey, Amy, hey, Lisa, hey guys, good to see y'all. And I'm doing prep work for a paint party that's about to happen in a couple hours. And I just wanted to share just a couple of tips with y'all. So a lot of times behind the scenes, you don't see this part of a paint party business, okay? You see the paint party, you see all the um, the music, people having fun, but you don't see the actual prep work. Now, in order for those people to have a great time and for them, hello, Randy from Mississippi. Hey, Kathy from Texas. And for those of, you know, for them to have a great time at that paint party, there has to be prep work done by you, okay? So if you wanna let me know real quick, if you are teaching paint parties full time, if you're doing maybe one a month, or let me know, cause I know a lot of people are reading the comments, let me know if you're doing paint parties online, or if you're like, ah, I'm just now thinking about doing this and I think it might be fun. Let me know which one you are. Because here's the thing about this paint party adventure. A lot of times people, they see people that are like killing it with paint parties and they think, oh my gosh, you know, I tried to reach out to somebody and I couldn't get a paint party and I'm not going to, you know, I'm not supposed to do this. And if you're on here and you teach paint parties, how many times have you heard a no or better yet been totally ignored? About 5,000 times, okay? That doesn't mean that I can't teach paint parties. That doesn't mean that um, I'm not going to be able to teach a paint party today. It just means that people are busy. And a lot of times it has to do with your marketing. So if you're thinking about teaching paint parties, I don't want you to give up because you've been told no once or twice or even 20 times. Y'all, it's business. It's a part of it. At first, it, it's hard and it can it can sting a little. But then after you get used to it, you realize it's just a part of it. And it's not a big deal. It's totally not a big deal. And I was watching Shark Tank last night and somebody said one of the sharks, it was a new shark. I'd never um, heard of him before, but he's really, really successful. And he said, it's not failure. It's feedback. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. Not failure, it's feedback. And I thought, how cool would that be to go through life instead of going, oh my gosh, I failed. Oh my gosh, I failed. Blah, 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 blah. And we, we paint this, this story. And I'm not trying to be mean, but a lot of times we paint this story of, of poor me. They can do it, but I can't. I've been guilty of that. Be honest, have you? Hey, BFFG. Hello, hello. Yes, it's not meant to be taken personally. It's business. It's not failure. It's feedback. Maybe it's feedback on the way you marketed. Maybe it's feedback on you're new to this. And we, in today's time, expect immediate. We expect, oh my gosh, if we're not good at something in five seconds, oh, we must not be able to do it. That's not truth. Okay? You have to put in the time. There's no shortcut to hard work. So when you see people out there doing paint parties and you think, well, they can do it, but I can't, you don't know the behind the scenes. So for example, that's why I wanted to come on here real quick live with you is to show you this is part of behind the scenes. This is part of it. Tracing, getting this stuff ready for these sweet little kiddos that I'm going to paint with. Now, here's the thing. This is our painting. But in order for me to make this very, very successful for them, 
Again, I'm not teaching a fine art lesson. And a lot of y'all, good morning, Debbie. Hey guys, good morning. A lot of y'all, um, you know, if you're doing a paint party business, once you stop thinking of it as this fine art lesson, this intense fine art lesson, you start thinking about how can I let these kids have fun today? Or how can I let these, you know, women or, or whoever you're teaching, how can I let them have fun today? And so my thought on that is I can let them have fun by making this easier for them. Okay, that's one of my big things. Make it easier for them. Does that take more prep for me? Yes, of course it does. <laughs> it takes more prep. But here's how I handle prep work. A lot of times people are like, oh my gosh. You know, it's, it's part of it. And um, before I put you on live here, I had... Um, I think his name is Big Daddy Weave. It's a Christian band who I love, by the way. So I had them jamming out and I was just listening to some music. And I was, you know, thinking about the kids that are coming and hoping that they have a good time, praying that they have a good time. A lot of times you'll um, encounter kids that maybe have never painted before, or this is their only way they're able to express like, you know, just have some fun and maybe they have a, they're having a bad time. You know, we don't know what's going on with these kids these days. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine being a kid now with all the stuff that is happening? Oh, a lot of y'all love that. Okay, good. Y'all love Big Daddy Weave. I love, yeah, me too. Like I love just putting that on and then prepping. It just, I don't know. It just makes me like, it just makes me prep for the party. It just makes me like, you know, excited for these kids. It makes me want to have fun with them. And I know they're going to be successful because I took some time to do this. Now, here's the thing. You know, a lot of you are teaching kid parties. A lot of you are teaching um, adult parties. Regardless of who you are teaching, I recommend doing this step. The more that you can can get it ready, the more that you can prepare, the more fun that your guests are gonna have. And, you know, I was saying earlier, we don't know what these kids are going through. You know, I I feel like Pixie has a, a great life. You know, we, we try to do everything we can, but there's a lot of stuff that Pixie at 15 is going through. I didn't go through a pandemic at 15 or 14 or 13. I didn't go through like having to wear a mask at school. I didn't go through um, social media. Could you imagine the pressures of these kids with social media? So for you to be able to create this paint party experience for them and for you to be able to just love, like just, just love creating with them and putting on some good music and having fun with them. I mean, they have pressures today that we never ever like and i know a lot of times people just discount well it's social media it's not that big of a deal i mean there's so many things that they they feel left out of or they they get you know the way that people bullied back in the day is a totally different way now and um, and if you don't believe me there's a lot of things that you know that parents and even i don't know about that and i'm not trying to get on a big old tangent about kids and social media. But the reason I, I guess I did is because I want y'all to, when you do a paint party, a lot of times we just think, oh, it's just a paint party. No, it's a way to reach out. It's a way to show these kids, this is something that they could do forever. This is something that, that you could help them discover. You know, yes, it's a cute little, you know, Halloween painting. And we're going to Hopefully, if I can find my black lights, we're going to have some black light fun and we're going to do some different colors with it and so many things like that. But I think there's an opportunity if you look at it in a in a way to share God's love, if you look at it in a way to, you know, pray for these kids that you're about to paint with, you know, you don't have to, to do a Bible study with them. I mean, I'm painting bats with them. <laughs> you don't have to do a Bible study. Yeah, Debbie says it's my ministry. I totally, totally agree. And um, Rebecca says, I have two teens and the anxiety and stress is real these days. School counselor said it is so bad since COVID. Yes. Again, like I'm not trying to get into like this full debate about all of this, but I want you to realize that what you're doing with your paint parties is very important. 
it can seem silly. I mean, I literally wrote the word goo on my arm. Like, I'm about to have some fun. Like, me and these kids are going to have a blast. But there are so many things behind the scenes that you could be doing to not only make it more fun, easier for these kids to have fun and open up because they're not terrified, right? But also just know that they're not on their phones during this time. They're not worried about social media. They're not worried about what their friends are doing. They are painting with you. And how can you make it special for them? Yes, Tammy, I still have candy corn. <laughs> um, yeah, Hannah says, it seems like a way to outreach for kids and adults, a sense of art. Um, definitely a sense of art therapy as well, for sure. Rebecca says, we all need something fun to do, a way to distract ourselves from the negativity. Yes, totally. Um, and then let's see, Kathy says, kids need an outlet. You don't know what they are living with. Very true. Um, you know, you can have um, people that, that look like they come from the best family, but then there might be a whole social media world that they're dealing with that, that we don't know. So, um, so whenever you're prepping, Again, I don't want to take too long. I'm about to jump off of here um, and put Big Daddy Weave back on and just really get in the moment. Um, Annie says, every time my daughter has friends over, her friends always want to calm down, come down in my studio and paint and create. I host paint parties with their parents, so I just presented to their parents to let their kids have a party. Oh, that is a great idea, Annie. Yeah, and for them to be able to... Um, be able to create like that, it's it's amazing. You know, to be able to give them that outlet is so cool. Um, but yeah, so anyway, whenever you're prepping um, for your paint parties, again, a lot of times people don't see this part of the paint party business, but this is a big, crucial part. So, um, so just a quick little couple of tips. I wrote it down so I don't forget. When you're doing this part of it, don't be mad at it. It's a part of it. Put on some good, inspiring music. Um, I have Big Daddy Weave that I just turned off so I could go live here, but I'll turn it right back on once I, I stop the live. Um, but I just put on some inspiring music, and I, I think about these kids. I, I you know pray for these kids. I pray that we have fun today. Um, I pray that they you know get excited about painting, and maybe it's something that will, will you know, like that uh, Marie, whatever says, she says, spark joy, whatever. Um, you know, maybe it's something that that makes them think, oh, my gosh, this is something that I could do or create. And the second thing, um, get excited. You know, these kids are going to be excited. And um, whenever I do a paint party, no matter how big or how small, um, I remember that, that these people are here and they're trusting me to um, to provide a fun event. So I'm going to do it. So always think about how you can um be excited for them, how you could be, um, you know, these kids coming in, how you could make them feel welcome. And um, I always, you know, when they come straight into the, the paint party, I immediately like shake their hand. And, and, you know, if they're really small, I'll squat down and I'll say, hi, I'm Heidi, what's your name? And I want to meet them. I want to make sure that they know that they are welcome. And um, that is important. Kindness matters, especially in your paint party thing. And then um, making sure that you take the time, okay, this is prep work that, that doesn't get noticed by anybody that comes to your paint parties, but it's part of your job. Take the time to prep. Take the time to, you know, make a tracer. Inside a paint party headquarters, we have tracers for you. Um, but, you know, if you're doing this on your own and you're not in paint party headquarters, um, that's fine. But prep make tracers, get it ready. And um, I thought about this and I said, you know what? I could go in and just have them paint all purple and I'll help them through the tree. And then the next thing I thought was, oh my gosh, these trees are going to go crazy. So I thought, you know, that's fine. However, when you can give somebody, again, it's not a hardcore art lesson. When you can give somebody success like this in a short amount of time, this is an hour paint party. It is a very short paint party. But when I can give these kids success in a very short amount of time, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. When you say, when you give them that confidence, when you have 
that moment where they can paint something and they're proud of it, what do you think they're going to do? Let me know. I'm going to see if y'all, y'all have a, a thought on that. And I know there's a little bit of a delay, so I'm going to wait just a second. What do you think is going to happen to that kid who did this painting with you and had some success and is proud? What do you think they're going to do? Let's see. Paint again. Yes, Mary. Paint again. Yes. They're, and they're going to remember to need a good and they're going to want to have another one. And um, so many things. Um, Rebecca says they will be successful. They can do it. Confidence. Y'all, I know it sounds so, um, sometimes it can sound silly to people that don't get what we do, but paint parties, I've said it from the beginning. It is not about painting. It's not. It's not about painting. Paint parties is not about painting. Yes, Jana, they're going to keep painting and creating whenever you've done that. And they're going to want to come back. They're going to, even if they just take this home and they start painting on their own, now you have inspired somebody to have an outlet, an outlet for life, literally an outlet for life. And um, how many of you have a craft room or um, a, an area in your home where you want to create or paint? And maybe you don't consider yourself a fine artist, but you love, you know that God gave you that outlet to create. Whether it's my mom does flowers, she used to do flower arrangements all the time. She's so good at it. She did all the flowers for my wedding and so many things like that. Like, that's an outlet to create. Some of y'all love making, you know, things with Mod Podge. Some of y'all love painting ceramics. Some of y'all love, you know, doing um, canvas painting. Some of y'all 